to tell you to share with my work basket. Today I am making goose arms. You heard me correctly. And I figured I'd walk you through the process in case you also wanted to make goose arms. Um, so recently I posted the video that I got a lawn goose, aka porch goose, yard goose, goose in clothes to dress up in seasonal outfits. And one super, 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 super cute goose out there that I saw, and I will link, there's a slideshow video and I'll link it in the comments. It's freaking adorable. Like even if you're not into geese and that you want one in your yard to dress in clothes, it's so freaking cute. And this goose, I think his name is Gus, had arms that would come out through his like jackets and things. And it was super freaking cute. And I wanted to make a pair of those before my goose even got here so that I could do similar things with my goose, who we haven't named, we'd just call him Goose. So what I figured I would do based on the little bit that I saw from the other Goose's arms is make some out of felt. So I actually already sewed these. I kind of started the process and I was like, you know what, I better, I better stop and record and chat and share some measurements with you. So this is what I did and I actually just used scrap felt. But if you need to go to the store and buy what you need, find a place that sells felt by the yard and get like six to eight inches wide. The length is going to do you more than the yardage would, but it's super cheap. So if you want to just get like a whole yard in case you mess up. Also, this is a theory I have of how to make arms. I can't guarantee this is the best way to do it. Originally, I was going to make one long tube and have wire in it so that it could wrap around the goose. Um, what I've decided instead is to do two arms and I'm going to sew elastic here in the middle so that you slide it down over your goose. And then my thought process with the elastic is that if he is wearing doll clothes or little person clothes, uh, meaning child or baby, that um, the elastic can just be in the outfit or it can still be on there helping hold the outfit on. So what I did was cut these two shapes and I will measure them for you now. So it is about 12 and a half inches long this way. Okay. So it's 24 inches of fabric folded in half. This end is a fold and this end, the narrower end is open. The wide end is three and a half inches wide. And the narrow end is two and a half inches wide. So this end here is three and a half. So what I did was I took a 24 inch scrap, I folded it in half and I just drew out what looked right. But this end, this wider end is three and a half. This narrower end is two and a half. And then I just sewed along the lines, leaving this narrow end open. And I did that twice. What I'm going to do is actually turn it inside right so the seams are on the inside I'm going to put a little ball just a little bit of stuffing in the wider portion that's going to be like his hand and I'm not going to stuff it very full because I still want it to be super flexible also I am going to sew wire in here anyway so his arms are flexible which hopefully I have the right wire I just realized I'm still doing my summer of stash so I can't really buy new craft supplies unless I get a veto and I don't know for sure if I have a good wire to put in his arms. I might use my first veto of the summer to get goose arm wire. Um, so I'm going to sp send a wire through his arms so that his arms are a bit poseable. I'm also going to put a little bit of stuffing in the wide part so that it's just, just a little more 3D when it's out in the yard. And then I'm also... I'm turning one inside out right now if you're wondering why I'm half distracted. So this is the wide part. I wanted it to look a little bit wider like a wing. I'm going to sew just like two lines also after I stuff it to make it look a little bit more like kind of fat fingers in there. So as you can see, there's my turned and my unturned after I've stitched it already. So I'm going to turn the video off while I do the next step and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I opted to do for the stuffing in the wings and honestly, it's just because I saw it and it occurred to me. Instead of polyfill, which you could totally use if you don't have what I'm about to say, but instead of polyfill, I was actually using some wool. And this is wool that was carded, but not washed. So it still has the lanolin in it. 
And the reason I opted to do that was because the Landlin helps keep it a little bit more bug resistant. Also, it helps protect it from um, water a little bit more. So I just thought it might hold up to being outside a little bit better than regular stuffing might. And so I'm just tearing off tiny bits. I mean, it's not even a fistful of wool in an arm. This is one arm already. So it's just lightly packed just right there at the very end. And then what I'm going to do for my wire, because I do think that I don't have the right wire, what I'm going to do instead is pipe cleaners. I picked some pale colors. I only found about four white ones, so I picked some yellow and pink. And I'm going to create kind of an armature where there's three pieces here at the end, which then go up into the arm in a single braid to keep it flexible and have the fingers have a little bit of flexibility. So... I will be back in a bit after these have fingers sewn and armature installed. Okay, so my armature is done. You can see I can fold his arms a little bit and they hold their shape. Uh, one thing I really want to point out, if you have to use pipe cleaners like I did, um, you're going to want to find a different way to do them. I did, just like I just showed you, I sewed my arms, I sewed my fingers, and then I added the pipe cleaners for an armature, and it was a pain in the butt. If I was using a stronger, sturdier wire, it probably would have slipped through no problem. Sorry, I was snipping threads at the same time. But because I was using the pipe cleaners, they were catching on the felt inside. They were catching on any random tiny specks of stuffing inside. And the only way I was able to do it was because I had this giant pair of hemostats. Um, and so I was able to use that and really wiggle them into each finger. If I were to do it again and I didn't have the hemostats and I had to use pipe cleaners, what I personally would probably do is do the armature before turning it inside out and couch it down with a few stitches kind of in the middle of each finger and you're going to get a much better result that way than what I got by shoving it in. Um, I honestly don't know how much pipe cleaner is even in it, each finger so I kind of lost a little bit of mobility in my fingers doing it that way too. If I had done it first and then turned it inside out I would have ended up with a much better armature. So I am about to sew the final pieces, the elastic strap, and then my goose arms will be done. I'll be right back. Okay, so my goose arms, goose wings, are done. So the way I made mine to work are that it has an arm on each side, and then essentially a belt of elastic in the middle so that I can slide it down over the goose and this will help hold the arms in place. I don't entirely know that that idea is going to work in regards to how well it actually holds the arms to the goose, especially without any type of shirt or coat kind of helping hold it in place. Um, for the particular outfit I'm doing today, I got like swim floaties for each arm and I was going to put sunglasses on his head and I'm a little worried about the elastic kind of distracting from the overall look or the idea of how well it's going to hold. And so I'm trying to think of something quick that I could possibly whip up to go on. Maybe like a vest that says lifeguard or um, I'm kind of trying to brainstorm what's in my stash about what I have or what I can create to go with it to help cover up the elastic on the chest and just add a little extra punch to the outfit. So this is going to be it for this video, but if you stay tuned, I'm going to put a picture or a quick clip at the end of the final result of my goose in his summer clothes with his goose arms. And I'd love if you make some goose arms for your goose. I do have a Facebook group called Goose Clothes. It is extremely small, but it's just a place for us to share ideas of how to dress our goose or if we find something in a store that fits our goose. We can share it to show other people, hey, go run out and get this because it fits our goose and looks great. So I'll put a link to that in the show description. I'll also put a link to the goose I mentioned in his super adorable clothes. It's a YouTube video of just a photo slideshow. And I'll add a little clip about how my goose looks in his final summer clothes. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I know this is a very specific craft that may not interest most of you. But if you're interested, here it is. I thank you for watching and I hope you have a great, great day. Okay guys, here is a quick video of the finished goose with his arms. Admittedly, the arm cover-up could be a little bit better. 
but people are mostly seeing him from 10 or so feet away. I ended up taking a microfiber towel. I tucked it in through the elastic part on his back and just kind of draped it over like he's got his towel ready to go. You can see his swim fins. I actually got these swim fins at Dollar Tree. It's a bit out of season, so they had one pair, or no, they had about six pairs in two different colors in the toy section. And so this is what I got. And they fit my goose and his goose arms. I also got some kids sunglasses. And what I did was I've created, and I will no doubt create more, a series of elastic bands. And they work very similar to human eyeglass holders where there's just a little loop at each end. And then I can use those to kind of configure different pieces and different items on him. So that is our goose, ready to go swimming with his goose arms. And it's nice because it's super hot here. So I can see the elastic holding his goose arms on, but I don't know. I think from far away you won't really be able to tell, especially with the towel on. So there you go. There's my finished summery goose with his goose arms.